Okay, how do you tell if a word is regular or irregular? And just to review real quick, uh, a regular word is a word that follows a, a given rule, and an irregular word is a rule is a word that doesn't. And we have rules for nouns, uh, how we tr take uh, singular nouns and make them plural. We have rules for adjectives and adverbs on how we change the um, uh, the normal form to the comparative form or the superlative form. And then we have rules for how we modify verbs uh, to get the four principal verb forms, the present, the past, the present participle, and the past participle. Okay, And we'll talk about how all those are used and, and, and what the rules are elsewhere. But uh, in here I wanted to kind of go through and give you an idea how you figure out which words are regular and which aren't. And the, the rule for figuring out the rules is look it up in the dictionary. Okay, and I'm going to write that in red, and I'm going going to put it, make it an imperative clause, and I'm going to put an exclamation point. Okay, so look it up in the dictionary. There is no way you can look at a word and just by looking at the word tell whether it's regular or irregular okay and um, so when we get to, so we're gonna go look it up in the dictionary and what are we gonna find when we get there okay so let's take in each case I have a regular noun uh, in this case adjective and verb and I have some irregular nouns and a regular and irregular um, uh, adjective and adverb and then another irregular verb okay and remember these are all different rules there's different rules for it's a different rule for nouns it's a different rule for adjectives and adverbs and it's a different rule for verb but you go to the dictionary you can tell and how you tell is let's see you're going to go to the dictionary and you're going to see dog in bold so I've used the color here to kind of indicate bold and you're going to see a couple backslashes and something that look like letters in between. That's the pronunciation. If you want to know what those letters mean, usually it'll be somewhere down here on the bottom of the page of the dictionary. And then it will say noun. And then it will be blank. Whoops. It will be blank. It won't say anything after that and then you'll go to all the numbered meanings or if it's a really fancy dictionary it'll have a history of the word how the word came to be but okay so that means let me put this in a in a different color that means it's regular okay the fact that it's blank now uh, let's go back. Let's look at the next one. Child. Okay, and it'll have the pronunciation. It'll have the noun. And then it'll have PL. Or sometimes plural. Okay, but usually in a written dictionary it'll be PL. And then again in bold it will have children. And that's the plural. And that is irregular. Okay, so that's irregular. And how do you know it's irregular? It's because it gives you what the irregular form is. Now, uh, this one's a little different. Usually what you'll see, again, the pronunciation, noun, plural, and then the word same. Okay, and what that means is that the singular is moose and the plural is also moose. Okay. Now you may see some some of these entries for for some very irregular. Um, the um, you may see some other words in here, but again, it'll give you some explanation. So a word like scissors, it would say noun, and it would say always plural. Okay. 
but it will tell it will it, they will give you the information on how to do it if it doesn't give you any information then you know it's regular if it gives you information then you know it's irregular okay let's go look at the adjectives interesting interesting adjective and then blank okay and so you know that that is regular you form the comparative using the adverbs more or most now let's look at the next one okay blah 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 again adjective and usually what you'll see is it will give the comparative first and then the superlative okay and sometimes it might actually say comparative and superlative or some abbreviation of that and since it gave you the you know that's irregular. Okay, let's look at the adverb. Again, little short pronunciation. Adverb. And then in bold, it will be further and furthest. Okay. Look, since it gave those, since it gave you what the forms are, you know it's irregular. Okay, let's go down. Protect. Blah blah blah. It will say verb, and we'll learn more about this later. But it will say verb. Tran which means transitive and then it will be blank and there are two kinds of verb there's transitive verbs and intransitive verbs and we'll we'll do a whole video on that uh, they really don't affect here but they do affect how they work in a sentence and simply a, a transitive word needs something after it so if you're going to protect you need to protect something okay uh, but we know that again since it doesn't have anything there that it is regular it will be protect the past will be protected the present the, the uh, present participle will be protecting and the past participle will be protected okay so now let's look here we have eat and you see something like tran and intran comes in both flavors and then it will give you the past ate I eat I ate whoops uh, let me go back. Eating or eaten. And these are used in verb phrases. Verb phrases. I am eating. I was eating. Um, I have eaten. Okay. So we get the past. So we get the present eat, the past ate, the present participle eating, and the past participle eaten. Okay, and so since it gave those to us, that is irregular. Now, some verbs are very irregular, like uh, is and have and do. Uh, so we will, um, we'll probably do whole videos on those just to show how they change because they, they really don't follow any rules at all 
and the the good news is there aren't many of them that are that irregular and the bad news is is they are the most common verbs in the language so you're going to be running into them all the time so with that go back up how do we tell if a word is regular or irregular we look it up in the dictionary if after the part of speech it doesn't give us any information then we know it's regular if it does give us information then we know it's irregular and it will give us the information we need it will give us the the irregular form or forms uh, or at least information like same so I'm uh, a little bit over my time limit so I will talk to you later